Hello guys, this is Val from uh, my server cloud. Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to talk about the open source solution document uh, retrieval and uh, settings. We're going to use Papra, it's an open source free of charge to use. Again, you can have a self hosted, or I'm sure you can find, um, let's say, hosting providers that will give you access and the ability to install Papra on their server. Now, without uh, without any delay, let's go to the documentation where you can find everything you need, for example, on how to install it on your server. You can use Docker Compose or you can use, in this case, I'm going to use Portana. So all I'm going to do is just copy the, um, the Docker Compose YAML file into a clipboard and I'm going to paste it into the stack in Portana as simple as that. Now, this app using port 1221, again, the app base is the um, the IP where you're running Portena, in this case, 148, for example. Then again, you can choose GitHub or Docker Hub. I'm going to use Docker Hub, and the reason why is uh, it's latest, and because it's latest, I run um, Watch Watchtower, I'm going to show later, and that automatically updates all the apps okay so after that the service name i'm going to leave as a papra off secret again you can choose anything you want i'm going to leave it the volume path as it is is exactly the same now you can run at a uh, root or a ruthless i tried this on my this installation now this is the actual container it's not a vm so i had issues with privileges so but when I do run it uh, as a root, I have no issue. Again, you can actually install as well intake emails, where emails will be forwarded to this uh, inbox and all the document attached will be saved and scanned. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use this uh, for this installation, but you could do that. Again, everything will be uh, sorry saved inside the ingestion folder. That I'm going to enable anyway. And once we've finished, all we gotta do is just copy the clipboard, go to Portainer, stacks, a new stack, and here is where you're gonna paste the code. And once you're done, all you gotta do is update the stack. Or in this case, it won't be updated, the stack will be deploy the stack. Alright, so I'm gonna deploy the stack, I'm gonna repool it, update, and I'm gonna wait. It's gonna take a few minutes. There we go. Uh, the installation has been completed. I'm going back to the home page containers, and there we go. We got the correct containers up and running. Now, if you want to know what's going on in the background, just press this icon, and you will see what's more or less happening. It looks like the job is scheduled. That means everything looks good and everything is ready. So let's go back to the containers and I'm going to click on the port 1221. Now the first thing I want to ask is the um, login and password. So I think you need to register and I'm going to give a name Gus and I'm going to press register. Don't forget this is very important uh, to log in. Let's press register. Should be okay. Not now. Create organization again. You can name it whatever you want. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is something. If I go to the settings, for example, I don't have a, a way to change my um, my password. I don't know if it's a, something that maybe they're going to do. I mean, person, I'm like to deploy on a live, you know, environment, something like this, where I'm I have no. Let me put it this way, the, the ability to change my password. But again, this is just something that just popped up when I was actually looking the live demo, right? So if you go to the main site, there's a live demo. When you click it and you go to account settings, I didn't see it here. So again, that is the reason why I knew already that you will not be able to. So apart from that, as you can see, Everything is looking good. Again, you can create new organizations. So that's all the organization. And again, you can actually go to each one of them. Okay. You can import documents, right? 
um, all your documents will be in documents. Okay, again, you can upload anything you want. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one here. And there we go, that has been uploaded. Now again, those are codes. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show the code here. Um, the project that I'm working on. But again, you can look at the details. Oh, I, oh, I already showed it. But anyway, yeah, you can look at the details. I'm going to blur it. Uh, you can rename the document and you can delete the document. Again, if I understand correctly, this shouldn't be available on GUS unless it's shared, I think. Let's go back on Jane. No, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to blur it. So here I can actually put tags, content, activity. So I can't, I can't see a way to share it. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. You can actually share it. Um, so yeah, well, anyway, I can't see the, so here you can do extra content, I presume activity will show you what happens yeah so a minute to go has been uploaded and that is the information about the file itself well so apart from that it's quite easy to use you can tag you can search so we'll... again over here you can have a light more i don't know why you get this one here on a search bar but anyway so pi is nothing py you get all the file with the PY. Not sure if I could do this. Let's see. V doesn't. Sh all right, it doesn't search inside the um, the file itself. Just the the name of the file. Now this is a little bit not good for me. Um, again, you can create new tags. Or you can actually go on the file, I presume, and again, uh, let's go back here. And you can actually add the tags. Yeah, you can create tags from here as well. And you can search the tags. Now, it is a pity you cannot search inside the document. It would have been much, much better. Um, you can open the file in the new tab. You can download. And again, you can actually delete the file. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Well, not even tutorial, a little bit uh, of a review of this uh, app. It's pretty good, but it's quite limited. So again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.